<laughs> lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the phone. Try it. Bye. And this Oh, Jesus. Good afternoon, people. It's Paul, Rate My Beer, and Michelle. Oh, hey. Goose Island today. Another one we're asked to do again. I can't afford one of the new glasses, so I've only got the old one. You know it is, and plus every time the glass comes into the house, yeah, it's <laughs> to throw me out, you see. So, yeah, uh, Goose Island, I believe it's 5% ABV, is it? I can't remember. Uh, I can't show you the pour because otherwise I've got to aim the camera because it's in the the, midget, the the dog machine. You've got the man's machine. I knew what you were, I knew what you were thinking. Don't even say it, do not swear. No, no I'm not. Right, I'll do the pour. So then we're halfway yeah, there. Get on with it. Yeah, whatever you say. Goose Island is indeed, I don't know, I can't see that there. 5% ABV, yeah. See? I'm not as silly as you look. And this goose is currently running at one degree. A lot of you may say it takes away the flavour. Well, we don't... That's, that's personal preference. For us, we really prefer lagers and pills to be really cold. Oh, what a decent pool. Well, you know, considering I'm leaning down, it's the, what, as I say, I call it the dog machine. There you go. That's that. Oh, no, that will look better. Look, like that. There you are. <laughs> so, what can we say? 5% ABV. Um, I don't know. This bit. is American, isn't it? Goose Island. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. America could have a lot of things, you know. I mean, you had Mike Tyson, Michael Jackson. Michael Jordan, Game Six, you know. He's trying to be controversial now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying, you know, it's the, the Jay Z sings about it in that song. What's that song called? I'm not even going there to <laughs> Do you not remember? I'm not going to say it either. Getting enough trouble. So. Now, aroma wise, I'm not picking up a lot from this other than a little bit of maltiness. Well, good combination, though. You can yeah, the combination is actually nice quite golden colour, isn't it? Quite nicely. I'll be honest with you, um, this is not one of my favourites. I'm not going to lie. I've got Bex loaded up, I've got Ramona loaded up. For me, this is the weakest link. And I really do have to agree. Um, Shell found a blind test, which will also be <laughs> uploaded. You love it as well, don't you? You know, I'm not doing it, I've bottled it. It's not often I fail, but on that one I did. Never mind, can't What can I say? If you, <laughs> you know, you didn't win that one, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, sit there, sit just. No, I really wasn't picking up a lot from the aroma there at all. Yeah, I always find this the hardest bit, isn't it? It's just trying to pick Sometimes up. the aromas just jump out and hit you, and you kind of know what you're going to taste by smelling it. Sometimes you don't get anything at all. Now it does have a zesty bit on it. Obviously you've got your, your malt backbone. Your malts are coming through. It does. And it does have a, yeah. a, a zesty bit on the end, but I know what I say. But here, it is. It is it, this is a thin, yeah, beer. It's not. It's very light bodied. It's really light bodied. Maybe you could say it's smooth and easy drinking. That depends what you want out of a beer. Now I'd go on something like Bex with your pills bite over this all day long, because totally. <laughs> it with the Bex, it's got a standout flavour. This, for me, is very generic. Yeah, we've, I mean, we've been messing about with mm. all of them over the last couple of days where we've got the three different kegs. You, let's be honest, the three that are loaded up at the moment, as I explained earlier, are not going to be three beers that I'd choose for the machine. But in saying that, now... I would revisit Bex again. Yeah, Bex will come back into yeah. it sooner rather than later. We want to pair Bex off with Hasselhoff. Yeah. This is getting left behind, I think. But You're yeah. right. 
there was a little bit of citrus in there. Which I wasn't picking up earlier. No. So uh, sorry, we were messing around with See, the See, now of them. this is why I found the blind test really hard. The bags, chah, easy. Pick it out all day long. The molar and this. Mm. Yeah, well the dad did say it's easy. <laughs> like, my, <laughs> quest, my question to Dan is, you I try it. I challenge you to do it. No, we challenge you, mate, because it wasn't as easy. I didn't do it because I said to you, I can tell through messing about. That you're going to find it difficult. That I'm going to find it difficult. Oh, no, I it's a 50-50 chance. I might be able to do it. I got it wrong. No, but the that's, problem, that's life. as I explained to Michelle off camera, I put the Ramona first for her, the Bex second, and the Goose third. And but once she knew what the Bex was, she pulled Bex out of it and kept going on one and three. And as soon as she did that, I knew you had a fifty percent chance because it's yeah. a guess. It, and it really was because these drinks kind of bounce off each other, mm. and I think the Bex pulled the other two up. To be fair, no, I do, I do, I, you know, I know Bex, Bex, Bex gets a pounding, but this, this is not, this is not top draw. You know, you, you look at the, 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 the vast array, the range of lagers we have, you know, we can go on as we always mention and then come back to the, the Spatton, the Hasselroda, the Lahnbrow, they're way ahead. It's not it's not even close, is it? But in its favour, it is a very easy drinking. The it's combination easy drinking, is mild. Um, just, the flavours in there are, are not going to assault anyone's palate. It's not going to offend anyone. It's very easy drinking. No, no, I've, I've, I've had... I've had worse, but I've got <laughs> I've honesty. had a lot better as well. I've had a lot better. I'm not a diehard Stella fan. A load of you. I got panned for that Stella video when I said it wasn't really that. Whereas like Michelle really likes it. This is what it is, and it and it is fine. And it's certainly not going to blow anyone away. I mean, I put a picture up when I was drinking this last night in a beer group, and there's people saying you won't be disappointed. And I've done this again for the sheer reason that over the course of time on YouTube, people ask me. I'll tell you exactly what it is. People who don't know what to put in the beer machines, they're having a barbecue, having people over, they like to drink a lager. You're not going to go wrong with this because it is so generic. No one's going to be offended. They're not going to be blown away, but no one's going to go, oof, I don't know yeah. that. This goes along the lines of like something like Bud, but it's not as good as Bud. No, I prefer Bud. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. But it's that kind of, yeah. where they're both American, maybe. I don't know, like I say, for me... This is not going to blow me into next week. I'm not going to say... I'm, <laughs> I don't think any more of it than I thought before, if I'm honest. I mean, I, I, the Ramola was pretty good going. The Bex exceeded things, which I didn't expect. I didn't see that coming. I thought last time Bex was like, oh, that's just... Yeah, but we weren't really into uh, drinking pills at that time. Yeah, you can, you can, argue, you can argue a lot of things. We've got back into it a little bit more. This for me, I'm, I, I can't score this high. I want to, I want to score every perfect draft keg high, you know. I mean, got a look on the top here, it says perfect draft. So, yeah, I'm a real fan, you know, you can you can mock that, I don't care in a way. But I can't score this high. I can only go on a rate my beer of six. I'm going to be a little bit more generous and give it a rate my beer of seven. It's what I give them a molar, and believe you me, tasting them side by side. It wasn't a lot of difference. There was no real standout flavours. What's in there was really subtle, and there was nothing where you could pick it out and go, "Wow, it's got this taste." Yeah, they did bounce off each other, which was a lot harder. This, this does have a little bit of a, a, a citrus yeah, to it. It does have that, that zesty thing. Whereas the Romola goes along the orange side, but whether it's this or Romola, the problem is we're spoiled, aren't we, on these yeah, machines? Totally. You know, when we first bought a perfect draft machine nine years ago, you had five kegs. Left Ruby was our favourite keg over Fans Corner. We don't, we don't drink it anymore. Too oh, sweet. <laughs> I'll visit, I'll revisit most of people and I'll always get round to it or when there's a deal on and I'll buy them all again and I'll do at some point I'm this sorry, again. I'm sorry, I was talking to someone who was um, drinking bags and I said we're going to be trying that soon. And you were right, it was worth revisiting. Yeah, Definitely. 100%. 100% actually, um, what do you call him, the Irish fella? Mark. If you watch this, Mark, damn right. Yeah. So, 
I know, you go. might have been talking to someone else, but I had a conversation as well. <laughs> I'm about really not good with names, I'm so sorry, but I do remember You can get my name. You know, she keeps calling me Kanye. A-H is one that <laughs> I can think of. <laughs> I'm not going to swear. Mm. Okay, so, right, what can I say, people? Thanks for watching, let us know your thoughts. You know, if you think yeah, you've got exactly. it wrong, do say, you know. I'm always up for a debate. I'm always right, but I'm still up for a debate. But no, it's only our opinion. As you know, for us, this is just a bit of fun. It's, it's all really objective. I, I think certain people are going to like certain things and others yeah. are going to like something else. <laughs> and that is what makes it all so yeah. much fun. And two years on YouTube almost. So do watch a live. It'd be interesting. <laughs> as long as you don't do me. Bonjour. <laughs>